Hello, my name is Gideon Ferber and in this clip I'm going to demonstrate the integration between the Maestro 6 and a non-linear editing system. In this case I'm going to use the Media Composer. Let's start from what is the ORAD Maestro NLE plugin. So the NLE plugin is an ORAD created plugin that allows access to Maestro graphics from within the nonlinear editing system interface. We're supporting the Media Composer, we're supporting uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, Grass Valley Aurora, and, well, some more. Well, the concept is as follows. We actually install the NLE plugin locally on the editing station, and from the NLE plugin the editor can access templates and can access actually the database that holds the maestro information. Now in order to do so we first start the NLE server and once it's running I can show you how we can actually configure it. So if we open it you can see that first of all it looks pretty much identical to the browser window that we have inside in Maestro 6 and if we take a look on the preferences you can see that it shows it we can define the connection to the database, where the database is located, what's the name of the database and again from here we can actually see the templates that we are going to use open them, see how they behave, see the timeline of each and every template etc. Now, once the NLE is running we can start uh, and work on the system itself and again I'm using the Media Composer by Avid. Okay, now that the Media Composer is running I can either start a new project or work on an existing project. Let's start a new one and let's call it Maestro sample. Once the project is defined we can allow it and we can start working and import assets into the production. So the first thing I want to do, I want to import a base clip that I'm going to work on or actually let's import several clips. I would like to use David Cameron and let's take also the football. So. Okay, now that the clips are available for us, I would like to add the David Cameron to the timeline, so just drag it inside, and we have it in video 1. Now, let's find a place where I actually want to add the graphics, so let's say from this frame, I would like to add a lower third saying David Cameron, and I want it to last all the way, well, let's say before the bicycle rider all the way up to here. So let's crop it again and let's add another video track uh, for the effect and well let's just quickly crop it as well. Alright and now in this specific segment I want the effect to appear. So I go to the effect palette and in the effect palette I find the maestro effect and just drag it to the location where I need it. Alright, now that the effect is here, I need to actually select the template that I want to use. So I go to the effect editor and in here I can select the page selector and select the template that I want to use. Now as you can see it looks identical to the uh, Maestro browser. So the same concept works exactly in the same fashion. Go through the folders, find the template that you want to use, double click the template you can see the content, you can modify it, so I would like it to be live and instead of uh, Van Rompuy I want to use David Cameron and it's, this is not a clip, I want to use an image and I can either type manually or connect to a data source or do whatever I want with the information. Once I'm satisfied, click OK and if we move the focus to the effect we can actually now see how the uh, template looks on top of the video file that we used. 
here we have David Cameron live with the information typed. So that's the general concept. So it is really, really simple. Just select which template you want to use, when you want to use it, done. If I want to add additional parts or additional segments, no problem. So again, just drag the, the effect. In the effect itself, again, go to the editor, select the template, and let's use a different one. This time I want to use, let's say, the lower third chiclets. Again, if you need, you can modify the information. Otherwise, you can connect it to a data source. And once ready, just click OK. And we have the information running over the clip. So the integration is really, really simple. And the workflow, again, is very, very flexible. We support floating license. Um, you don't need any dedicated hardware in order to see the effect, in order to render it. It integrates fully with the Media Composer. Again, same goes for uh, Final Cut Pro. And it gives you the possibility to have a, a consolidated look throughout your production. Uh, one last thing that I would like to demonstrate is if we go back inside the page then what you can see here is the timeline of the effect actually this specific template has a very limited timeline so let's go back to the lower third if we select it and open the page again you can see that we have here a timeline now the timeline is the same timeline that was defined in the page editor in the uh, design stage of the template. However, I don't have to go back to the page editor in order to modify this timeline. I can actually move and control the timing of the events from within the Media Composer. So, for instance, if I wanted to play the first animation, then wait a few seconds, play the second animation, wait yet again, and then play the third animation, this is something I can do from within the Media Composer. I don't have to go back to the page editor in order to do so. So, very, very flexible way to control the information and control the template that we are using inside the Media Composer. Once we are happy, OK, and that's it. Since rendering takes lots of time, so I won't render the graphics right now. The final result will take the graphics and the information and the clip and render it all to a single clip. That's it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching.